one and two step word problems. It's weird that it says one and two step word problems, but it's only two step word problems. So that must be a continuation from one step in an earlier grade. Represent two step word problems with equations. Again, we are learning how to write now. Right now, we have figured out how to do the multiplication, how to break it down, how to put it back together. We've got our times tables at this point. We're sort of assumed to know how to do all of this basic one digit multiplication and how to break multiplication up into smaller pieces to make it easier. Now we're gonna learn a little bit more about how to write. Today, a frog ate 11 crickets for breakfast, eight crickets for lunch, 12 crickets for dinner, which equation can we use to find the total number of crickets? And then it puts this blue C in parentheses. And what this is telling us right here is that we are naming the number of crickets C. So from here on out, instead of having to write number of crickets over and over and over again, instead, we can just say C. C means the number of crickets, and we're just gonna keep that away, or keep that filed away. Um, so if the frog ate eight, uh, 11 for breakfast, eight for or, uh, lunch, and 12 for dinner, you add all those up to get the total, so we end up with C equals 11 plus eight plus 12. There's no multiplication happening here. That would be if the frog ate the same number of bugs per day for a certain number of days. I had $88, then I earned $29 by walking dogs. And then I spent some money on concert tickets and I have $74 remaining. So again, even though $74 is presented to us as the remainder, since we're searching for how much we spent, we're gonna subtract the remainder from the total and that'll tell us how much we spent. So that would be 88 plus 29 minus 74. I'm so yeah, minus 74. B. My book has 58 pages. I've already read three. So um, I'm gonna be doing 58 minus 13. I assume we're gonna be talking about how many pages we still have to go. So 58 minus 13, I've already got our answer, it's A. But let's go ahead and keep looking anyway. I plan on reading five pages each day. I like this phrasing, pages each day. It's another fancy way of saying divide. I am dividing the number of pages that I have left into a certain number of days. This is division. So we are dividing by five, which is why A is the correct answer. When I woke up, it was 26 degrees outside. Oh, that could be centigrade or Fahrenheit, I mean freedom. During the day, the temperature increased 17 degrees and then it began to decrease. When I went to bed, it was 28 degrees. Now again, we're not even being asked for the answer here, right? We just want to set up the problem. And a lot of the time, I have a calculus student that I'm tutoring right now, not right now, I'm obviously streaming right now, but right about now, uh, I have a calculus student who is, um, having a hard time in this exact regard. Um, a lot of the time in calculus problems, the hardest part is finding and writing down the equation. Once you've got the equation, the rest of it tends to be not easy, not simple, but at least something you can practice and, and get really good at. And usually by calculus, students are really good at that. But a lot of the time, finding the equation is the most important step because you can't do math on something if you can't, if you can't you know, represent it with an equation of some sort. Um, so it's good that we're starting that early. So it was 26 plus 17 and then minus the 28 that's left over, A is the correct answer. Represent two-step word problems with equations, that's that. And now just two-step word problems. 